Here's Little's kick. A good one. Bienvenue all the way back to his 28-yard line. Looks left, starts right, needs a block, got one. Cuts into the 40, breaks a couple of tackles, and then is caught and dropped. Mikey Matuk, he, uh, he does pose the threat of passing, and it makes him even more dangerous as a runner. Matuk is the leader of the pack for the Cougars. He'll start at quarterback from the shotgun formation. Standing at the 40-yard line, takes the snap, and it's a run to the left side. Sweep. He's at midfield to the 45, to the 40. There goes Look out. out. Down the sidelines for a touchdown. Gone. For the season, 5-9 a carry, and it just went up. On a 55-yard run by Montuk, and St. Thomas Moore strikes first and quickly for a 6-0 lead. Extra. Cougars need a long six. Here's Matuk on the carry. Finds a seam. Finds the open spaces. At the 50, jukes a man to the 40. To the 35. Followed his block around the right side. Hit the seam in a hurry there and then cut that secondary cut along the left side. Just a good piece of running. In the quarter and the Cougars are faced with second and long. Here's Matuk. Let's it go. Got a man open. Caught. Matuk goes under center. Takes the snap, gives off to Fournette, found a Look hole, it. and he's in the end zone. Winston replay, just a nice inside handoff at the 16-yard line. Look at that. He knew exactly. Bienvenue up to take it at the 45-yard line. Makes one man miss at the 40, looking to pick up a ball. Save some yardage for Washita. And it'll be first down Cougars, but good field position has turned into superb field position. Well, guys, this live game break is brought to you by Lafayette Motors Chrysler Jeep, 1515 Jefferson Street. Lafayette Motors. I'm an off guard. We're going with the no huddle here as Vance on turns, gives to St. Julian, cuts inside, finds some room. St. Julian. St. Julian had a hole there. Good block. Cuts it up because it did a good job of running north south, but broke a tackle there, broke another tackle there, drug a tackle. Snap, short drop, looks, looks, throws. Matt Vansall had plenty of time and protection. Threw that one hard on a rope, exactly where he needed to throw it. Matt DeGree. James split to the left. And they'll give it to St. Julian. St. Julian. Matuk is your quarterback. Snap. Quick pass out near side, complete to James, and James will carry it inside. Play, second and one. Here's Fournette, big hole over right guard. Fournette breaks into the secondary. That's the replay, folks. Look at the hole there. Good, good block in front of him by number 77, Hayes Berthelot. Ma took under center, turns, hands to Fournette, and he's in the end zone that should have had all the momentum after the onside kick recovery. Look, Danny, good luck. Good luck with, uh, you might want to go call a doctor and make sure that he gets some extra treatment tonight. Yeah. But uh, we appreciate Road for Washita to overcome. Matuk, quit pass out. That's complete down the sideline from the six yard line and he'll keep it himself and fights his way toward the end zone. Did he get in? Oh, he did. Replay. Matuk just went directly up the middle. He had a hole there, but see, they made contact with him at the four-yard line. He just would not give it up. And it was just three. They need four, so they give it to Connor. And Connor is stood up and driven back. As Vincent sits under center and hands to St. Julian. And St. Julian breaks into the secondary. He's at the 40. He's good offensive play, good blocking. Nice delay. Interior linemen just doing exactly what they've got to do. Next year, St. Julian will be a senior, and you expect. First down Cougars as they continue to pile up the statistics. And Vanson wants to throw down the sideline. Got his man. Touched it. Now that's Hampton. Watch the Slimco instant replay. Matt Vanson just aired it up, and Hampton just outran him. Dead. Seven. Here's Vansaw, puts Stelly in motion. Turns, gives to Ashy. The name Carr rang a bell with me, and I didn't know, being from North Louisiana, if he might not be related to Roger Carr, who was the one-time favorite target. Of For sure, at the beginning of the season, many would probably be surprised to learn the STM Cougars in their first season playing in 5A's, in 5A's, the state's highest classification would be 5A's number two seed, but that's just how the Cougars entered the playoffs, seeded second tonight. STM opening the playoffs, hosting Washita Parish. Pick it up, second quarter, Cougars up 14 nothing and adding to it is Jesse St. Julian going over the right side, breaking tackles, 
picking up some nice yardage. That set up this Matt Vincent hitting our TV3 Player of the Week. He's our reigning Player of the Week. Jordan James, who was wide open in the end zone for the touchdown. Cougars up 21. It's David Fournette. He, look at him, bobbing, weaving. Cutting his way down to the five-yard line. Next play, Fournette gets the call, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Have to hit the road, though, playing at Mandeville in the south.